to a mechanical technician too. I'm a scientific project specialist. I'm a scientist in AOL's remote sensing facility. Uh, I am an instrument maker. I'm a systems administrator. Electrical engineer. Electromechanical technician. I'm an instrument maker. I am a software engineer. Um, my name is Laura Tudor and I'm the lead drop sound technician for the National Center for Atmospheric Research and that is an electromechanical technician. We work with electronics as well as um, you know making you know fabricating um, equipment and prototypes and what have you um, but a drop sound is this. It's an instrument that has pressure temperature humidity sensor. There's a parachute on this end and it's actually ejected from aircraft during winter storms, hurricanes, typhoons, um, all types of, of weather projects. It's a really interesting job because we travel all over the world and we fly in different aircraft and we've done work um, on a Navy P-3 aircraft. Um, NCAR has a G-5 aircraft but we also have a C-130 that we fly and we work with the uh, United States Air Force Hurricane Hunters. I got into this field in a very roundabout way. I worked um, two, three jobs to put myself through college. And when I, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in physics, I wound up in atmospheric sciences, not so much because I chose atmospheric sciences, but because of the, the level of travel required for this job and the ad, adventure aspects of it really fit my personality. Um, we've had projects on ships in the middle of the Atlantic in February and when we fly through um, typhoons I don't get seasick or airsick and I'm not afraid to go to pretty much anywhere. Um, my name is Carl Schwenz. I am an instrument designer at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. My job here is probably the best job in the world as far as I'm concerned because I get paid to make things up. And I say that because a scientist will walk into my office with an idea about some event in the atmosphere or the ocean or wherever that they want to investigate. And then they pretty much leave. And my task as an instrument designer is to design an instrument that will find the information that they're looking for. Um, these instruments don't exist already, so most of it is new cutting edge uh, inventions, if you will. Without us, the science can't happen. I mean, a scientist can have a great idea, but without us having the ability to invent and build the instrumentation that they need to prove their idea, it's still just an idea. So my name is Pei Sun Tai, and I'm a, I'm a radar engineer. I have to come up with designs for the radars and interconnections for the systems and, you know, um, mechanical design, electrical designs, and I come down here and I talk to the technicians and uh, communicate my idea with them, and then they will go and, you know, manufacture whatever that needs to be done. Besides that, I also have to do some computer simulations to figure out if a certain design we want is going to be realistic and it's going to do whatever we think it's going to do. I also come down here and do some uh, debug work after the technician replicate all the boards that we want and find out what is wrong with the board, troubleshooting it. How did I get here? <laughs> so um, uh, I was an electrical engineering major when I was an undergrad and I went for graduate school in the same major. I got a job building instruments such as radar systems that's how I started my career. And how did I end up here? Um, I'm going to say it's storm chasing. So I started storm chasing after I uh, developed a ground-based mobile radar. And after that, I just got into this field and in atmospheric science. And now I'm moving from the ground-based mobile radar to airborne system. So I'm doing an airborne um, cloud radar now. My favorite part about the job is the fact that I can do a little bit of everything. So I can do computer simulation, I can do circuit design, I can work with technicians down here uh, on debugging, troubleshooting the system. 
and I could also travel with the radar to wherever it goes. My name is Jason Morris and I'm an aircraft mechanic here at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. I've always had an interest in aviation, even when I was a young child. I'd always look to the sky and see an airplane flying over. We are charged with uh, maintaining the aircraft on a daily basis. We keep it flying for extensive field operations. My favorite part of the job is the uh, traveling. My name is Chris Burkhardt. I'm a software engineer at the Earth Observing Laboratory at NCAR. Yeah, the, the work that I'm doing uh, it is involved with doing displaying radar data. Um, the scientist would go into the field and would need to look at the data that were being collected at the time, um, and they needed to put together a number of different data sets at the same time. They needed to see the radar, but they also needed to see satellite on top of it or behind it, and they needed to see lightning data. And if we had aircraft involved in the project, they needed to see where the aircraft were flying. They needed to see tracks of them. So we're developing one brand new radar, the Hyper Cloud Radar, that's intended to fly on our Gulfstream 5 aircraft. Or the work I'm doing is closely related to an upgrade we're doing for a high frequency radar that is associated with our big um, S-Pole radar. Uh, S-Pole is uh, a, t a 10 centimeter wavelength radar, which is good for generic looking at clouds here. My favorite part of the job, I, I like the atmosphere and the people. I, I, I like the, the people that are around me. Everyone is just on the ball and bright and, and right there. Thank you.